we have the aged horses now. Let me straighten this bugger out. Aged horses now. Um, Airstrike is our first aged horse. Got to put him on the list. Airstrike's a horse we picked up last week on Hunt Gate. We're going to race him on Monday. Um, I like this horse. I can't wait to see him race. I think he belongs in this class. And I think it's not like, you know, we picked him up for 10000 and next year he's going to, you know, he's going to make a million dollars. But I think at ten grand in the classes he fits here was a very good sweater on that kid was a very, very simple acquisition. Can't wait to see him race tomorrow. Brave World, again, another horse that's sitting on a pretty good race. Um, I just want to see him draw five and inside, maybe close him up, as Travis said, and let him rock. And I think that's what you're going to probably see this week. Cruising in Style continues to race really, really good. Um, oh, that's the one horse I missed at Jason's. was the new horse also, Swan's Honey. Um, Cruising in Style has been racing good forever for us. You know, he's, he's not the most consistent horse, but quite frankly, I, I'll be honest, this year has been one of his more consistent years, and, um, you know, all things being equal, and Tim Dickey's done a great job with this horse. Um, don't believe me, just watch. Again, a little flat his last couple, but we're going to have to shake that tree and get him uh, get him back in shape and back and moving properly. Harry thinks maybe a little vet work done on him um, will uh, will help out. We'll see this coming week. Globe trotting is uh, going to start racing next week. Got her liver down, good now. Not perfect, but good. Uh, got her AST. Both levels are down in manageable level, manageable positions. Uh, they're not perfect, but they're much, much better. Um, high gear, no fear. Again, you can see when a horse isn't on the top of his game, he can look kind of rather ordinary. And that's one way to put how. Um, one way to put how high gear no fear is look rather ordinary so i'm expecting bigger things from him next week it's going to be a little tighter we're going to get the razor pads off him i really believe that played a, a really negative role in him in his race last week get the razor pads off him um he'll be tighter you know we can have another week to work on his blood to work on his health and then james can drive him next week as i said uh stonebridge simba continues to race good for us and i hope again he races good this week uh, what's that horse name? Swan's Honey. Swan's Honey. Uh, she won't be returning to us until this week. Got to draw Coggins on Swan's Honey, and then you, once we have those Coggins, we can draw international papers off of her and get her back here. Probably the first asking, the first time you'll see her back in Canada or in Canada for the first time will be this Wednesday or Thursday coming, I believe. Uh, White Tiger drew the nine hole again this week, way up in class, but he, man, he's been racing really good. This has been one of his more consistent runs, and uh, I can't wait to see him race throughout the winter. What was that look? You'd like to take him to Mexico with us, give him a couple of weeks off in Mexico? Yeah, I do, actually. Oh, my God. So, uh, White Tiger, uh, as I said, can't wait to see him race all winter. Really happy with his consistency. Really, to be honest, every, every race in his last, say, 10, any of the races that were poor, he really did have a pretty good excuse. So, I think now we have him on a good routine and a good schedule. Uh, I'm expecting good things from him tomorrow. One of these weeks, we're gonna have to, he's going to have to miss a week. But, um, as I said last week, I would rather race him when he's hot, race him when he's sharp. If he feels a little dull for James tomorrow, then maybe that's an indicator we give him a week or two off. Um, yes, has been fantastic all year for us. We skipped over Locatelli also. Locatelli, I've said in a couple of videos, there is some nasal discharge from him this week. Is there enough to, to um, um, you know, force, force uh, a scratch this week? It's possible. We'll know tomorrow, but it will only be because we want to do what's best for the horse. I mean, you don't want to race him if he's not 100%. He schooled good the other day. If he's not at 100% tomorrow, then he should not be racing. So if he isn't, that gives us four days to work on that nasal, that, that head cold that he's clearly combating. And um, work on that, clean it up, and, and get a good mile into him. So this week, one way or another, whether it's Monday or Friday, he will get a good mile into him. I would rather it be tomorrow, but... That will be up to him. We'll see what happens tomorrow morning. And as I said, yes, has been... What's that, honey? Going straight. Yeah, I'm going straight. Is that all right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you want to... Is your mom waiting for us? Oh, because I was going to say, we can go to Lone Star and bring home some fajitas for the kids. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll tell after lunch. Okay, no problem. Uh, as I said, yes, has been racing great, looking great. And as I said it multiple times over the last two months... This is the best form of BS I've ever seen, and I can't wait for him to continue to put this together all winter long. So those are the aged horses. Still got the three-year-olds. Still got the two-year-olds. I'll be back in just a minute.